Alright, so I'm making this video to give you my impressions of the game uh, and my predictions going forward. Um, so far, this game is great. The net code is spectacular. Um, I've only lagged once in a game. Um, and it wasn't even that bad. And like, it lagged at a very convenient time, like every time it did lag. And I don't know if that was an intentional thing or if that was just a coincidence but it always lagged during a super so it never lagged during actual gameplay time when I needed to do a combo um, it's gonna be hard to concentrate and play this at the same time but um, the deck code was pretty good uh, graphics this game is looks amazing and the 2d style is perfect for it uh, people, I saw people on YouTube complaining that this game looks like a mobile game just because it's 2D. You need to shut up. This game is beautiful, and it was not a mistake making it 2D like this. It was actually like almost necessary to a point where I feel like this game wouldn't have the same effect if it wasn't. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Sorry, I'm blanking out here. I'm trying to concentrate. Um, cause I'm getting bodied. This game, uh... Oh crap. It feels good to play. Uh, it's very responsive. There's no input lag online. So I, or if there is, I'm used to it by now. So I don't know if it's even better in single player when that'll be available when the game comes out. Um... It feels like... I'm doing stuff even if I'm losing. It feels like I'm legit having a, an intense battle, and that's good. It's a great feeling to have. Uh, what else? What else? Every character in this beta, uh, in my opinion, is very fun to play, except for Cell, but I'll get to that in a second. He's one of my problems I have with the game. Um. He basically, I'll get to him in a second, I'll get to him in a second. Every character is fun, even characters that I normally wouldn't like, like Android 16. He's a grapple character, I'm not really that good with grapple characters and fighting games. But in this one, he's fun, and his grapples are like optional. So you don't have to use his grapples to be good, but it'll help you improve, uh, which is a good thing. So there's a lot more characters than just the simple Goku and Vegeta that are good. Every character holds their own, and it's a good thing to hear. What else? What else? Controls. Um, if you are not, if you don't play a lot of traditional fighting games, you're gonna have a hard time adjusting to the control scheme. It is very much like Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, which is a plus for some people but I will say playing after playing Street Fighter this game is a lot easier to adapt to than Street Fighter um, controls are a little bit more straightforward in terms of what does what while in Street Fighter it's almost completely different controls for another character which was a problem uh, what else um, let me go to back to Cell real quick. Cell, as a character, he's not bad, but I don't like him simply because he is either, he's like pretty much, oh, I got destroyed. He pretty much is a button mash friendly character. His combos, you can do a full combo by just spamming triangle with him. And that's just horrible. And that's not, not anything that can be nerfed because that's literally his controls. Uh, so unless they rework the character entirely, Cell is going to be that freaking noob character that people spam with in the full game, which is a no-go for me. Um, he's not, and I like Cell. Cell is a cool character, but due to that fact, I'm going to hate and dread fighting him online. And honestly, all his cool stuff is very difficult to do. 
So it's like a mixed bag. He's either extremely easy, but he has random spammy dumb attacks, or he has really hard cool attacks. So he's just a really noob friendly, but also pro unfriendly character. And that's just odd to me. But besides the fact, that's just a nitpick to be perfectly honest. Um, and that can be overlooked and maybe his damage can be nerfed to uh, compensate for that. And he's the only character I have a problem with in the beta. But let's go to predictions because I think I've covered everything in terms of what I like. This is definitely a day one purchase for me. Um, it's great. And it's what I, what I wanted. Uh, in the lobby that you go around to fight people, there are a lot of closed off areas. Like one of them is the world tournament area, which makes you think that there's going to be an integrated world tournament mode for online, which is amazing. And this game would really work well for it. Um, Xenoverse had it. But honestly, the universe was BS, and a lot of people lost when they shouldn't have. <coughs> Me. Um, and I think that this game is going to ha have like some of the most competitive moments and most awesome moments of all time. And I'm excited for that. There's also areas blocked off like Kami House. I don't know what exactly that is going to be. Like what we're gonna do there? Um, can't block it to start with this, uh, but that's interesting that they have that area. They also have like the dragon trail towards King Kai's planet. Uh, but I don't know if that could be maybe some mini games. Uh, hey Ivan, I'm recording a video, so hold up. <laughs> um, and then there's also some new characters announced, like Yamcha Tien got announced today. And there's some uh, original character that got announced named Android 21. I don't know if that's going to be the villain or what, but she looks promising and I hope to see her revealed soon officially in a trailer or whatever. Um, but other than that, this game is looking pretty good. I'm excited for it. Day one purchase, pre-ordering it next week. It's going to be great.